guys, the objective of this video is to have a look at the three different types of rock, igneous, metamorphic and sedimentary. We will just briefly talk about the properties of the different rock types and how these rock types form to see what sets them apart from each other. So firstly we will have a look at igneous rocks. Majority of the earth is actually made up of igneous rocks and it forms from the solidification of molten rock, that is either magma or lava. This crystallization of the molten rock can occur either at the surface or underground. The molten rock will solidify at temperatures from 1100 degrees to 650 degrees, depending on the composition of the rock and according to Bowen's reaction series. If you're not sure about Bowen's reaction series or the different magma compositions that exist, then I would maybe suggest you go and watch the last two videos of the previous section. In these videos, we had a look at how magma forms and the different types of magma. This is quite important in order to understand igneous rocks because this is what igneous rocks form from. Igneous rock is often characterized by having a crystal structure. However, this is not always the case. The crystal structure comes from the fact that the molten rock solidifies and the crystals can either be small or large depending on whether the rock has cooled quickly or slowly. Here are a few examples of igneous rocks just to give you an idea of what they look like. I have labelled the rocks with their names, but don't worry too much about this right now. We will be covering how to classify these igneous rocks in later videos, and you will soon be, soon be familiar with all of these names. I have also labelled these rocks with some simple observations that can be made about them. Firstly, the granite and the diorite has quite large crystals, which indicates that they cooled much more slowly. Then the basalt over here, which has quite small crystals that can hardly be seen with the naked eye. These small crystals indicate that the basalt cooled out of very, very quickly. Over here, we have a volcanic breccia, which looks very different to the granite, diorite and basalt because it actually formed due to an explosive eruption, which is what caused us to have all these fragmented bits of rock within the volcanic breccia. This fragmentation and the angular shape